1997 Ford Expedition and Ford F100, 150s. <laughs> and uh, anyways, the idea, we're gonna be removing this hood. Uh, this vehicle broke down a long time ago and it cost more to repair than it would to disassemble and sell the parts off. So it's real easy to remove a hood and do it, put it back on. There are four bolts. The struts don't even hook to the hood. It hooks to this bracket here that holds the hood in place. So in this video, I do not have to worry about lining up the hood for putting it back on um, because I'm not putting the hood back on. Uh, most videos will pull this off, these things off the uh, there. I'm not going to. I'm just going to cut that little hose right there and let whoever buys this hood worry about it. I'm actually going to even just cut the wires right there so that if there's for some reason he needs wires or a light bulb or something you know I'm not putting this back on I'm not putting the hood back on this whole thing coming out I got someone else buying the little struts for the hood so I'll show you how to take these off pretty simple let's get to it it should be a short video so grab your wrench 10 millimeter don't even worry about focus come on whatever and on it goes I would say loosen it loosen all four the reason I'm loosening the, loosening the fronts is because uh, now all the weight will be on the backs could even completely take off the, the front ones there but Get a helper. You want want somebody there to help you, you know, if at all possible. It's a it's a big job. Not too terribly heavy, but it is a big job. So I'm gonna be careful not to lose these bolts because I'm just gonna put the bolts back in to the hood. Whoever buys the hood gets the bolts as well. I'm gonna do the same for there, 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 and there. But before I take any farther, I'm gonna go ahead and show how easy it is to pull these off. Okay, get yourself a nice thin screwdriver um, and just let's get past my little trickle charger wires. Try not to let it spring away from you. Get in there. Let's get my hand out of the way so you can see. <laughs> I'm afraid this is gonna spring all the way across my garage. That's why I'm moving so slow. You shouldn't have to take it all the way off. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Now, do that to that one. That one. Where's it at? That one. And then raise your hood a bit. And you'll be able to take that off. Let's see if I can find some way to steady this sorry not a very good picture but if I can get in there and do the same for this one this has got an even smaller spot I 
Come on. slides right off slides right off right now all the weight is on one strut so let's see can you see that we want to put these springs back in place and that way when they get replaced here we go they will hold somebody has asked to buy these there and when it gets put back on all he'll have to do is put it over that and give it a good hard whack down and it will lock in place and give that a good hard whack there and it'll lock in place. That's how you take these off. I'm gonna do the same to that one over there on the driver's side. Once those gas struts are off, well then you need a bit of wood to hold everything in place. And from here, pretty, pretty self-explanatory. See it's already sliding. I want to try to avoid hitting this back piece. So I'm gonna lower it down and from this point I think I'm just gonna need two hands. So if I can figure out a way from this point you don't even have to finish the video if you don't want because all the the big stuff is done. So, from here, I won't be talking much. Just pulling out those last two bolts. <laughs> if I can. Oh, I know. Forget. Okay. 